good morning my dear students so again uh, so in this ppt i'm going to tell you about the concept of uh, force vibration uh, definition okay so that is uh, four definitions that is first one is the vibration isolations and the transmissibility magnification factor and vibration observer okay all these four definitions are very important uh, for the point of examination okay vibration isolation they may uh, among these three so vibration isolations are very important uh, okay so they may ask you what you mean by vibration isolation and uh, what is the main use of in mechanical component or mechanical system okay transmissibility and magnification factor we have to remember the equations okay so those two equations we need uh, we are going to get uh, we are going to use in while solving the problem okay vibration observer also it is a device which is used to reduce the vibration okay in mechanical component okay so let me understand first the vibration isolation what do you mean by vibration isolation so uh, what do you uh, what do you mean by isolation okay so vibration isolation is nothing but what uh, so it is a process of isolating the machine or a vibrating body okay uh, from from the it's maybe the foundation or base in order to avoid the transmission of vibration okay so suppose if you consider a generally a air compressor or a motor or a big uh, mechanical component which is fixed on the uh, ground level okay so uh, once it is over during the operating condition while in the motion that is in a running position there is a chance of producing a vibration from machine to foundation okay to reduce that we are going to use the vibration isolation okay so that is a definition says okay so i will repeat here definition let me and i read here i will I, okay listen carefully so it is a process of isolating the machine or a vibrating body from its foundation in order to avoid the vibration from a uh, machine to ground level that is the base level or that is the foundation is called as uh, what is vibration isolation okay so our in another way we can going to say as the it is a method of it is a method to reduce the vibration uh, of a undesirable vibration caused by the unbalanced rotating uh, are uh, rotating masses that is the reciprocating masses is also called as the vibration isolation okay so vibration isolation may be obtained by uh, what uh, placing an elastic or resistance member between the vibrating body and the support structure that is then elastic that is the elastic member is also called as is called as isolator okay so this is very important in mechanical system okay so we are going to use what uh, the main objective of vibration isolation is nothing but what uh, uh, to avoid the transmission of vibration from foundation to the uh, what uh, ground level that is a uh, transmission of uh, vibration from the machine to the foundation okay it is called as vibration isolation okay so same i told here so the process of reducing the vibration of a machine and then so reducing the transmitted force to the foundation using the vibration isolating materials are called as vibration isolation okay so what are the materials we are going to use the rubber cork metallic spring elastomers these are the some vibration isolation we are going to use okay so here the types of isolations okay isolations of uh, related to forces uh, related to motions okay based on the heavy forces we are going to use some isolation because of the small uh, low weighted uh, we are going to use the uh, isolation okay the vibrations uh, that is the produced in the unbalanced machine should be isolated from the foundation so that the adjoining structure is not set uh, into a vibration okay this type of isolation we are going to call as force isolation okay so force means nothing but we are not going to proper fixing the machine component in the ground level there is a small amount of vibration takes place okay that forces is called as isolation forces okay so isolation motion is nothing but what the unbalanced machines are isolated from their foundation so that there should not be any damage either to the machine or, or the foundation this type of isolation known as motion isolation okay uh, the machine component which are going to fix properly for the ground level there is no transmission of motion takes place from uh, machine to the ground level is called as isolation motions okay so here uh, we are going to use some uh, i vibration isolation also that is the rubber which is used for uh, the uh, uh, what a shock uh, shock isolation okay so cork is also used for the acoustic isolation okay pad felt metal spring pneumatic spring damper elastomers these are the some component we are going to use uh, vibration isolations okay why vibration vibration isolation is needed okay so in order to prevent the or control the vibration of a machine or a equipment from affecting their surrounding that is a nearer okay so nearing vibration uh, okay, to reduce that so we are going to use a vibration isolation okay so vibration isolation is achieved by using a special mounted design to absorb the vibration or movement caused by the machinery or a machine component okay so how do you isolate the vibration uh, okay uh, the method of vibration isolation is usually include the rubber isolation okay sliding isolation hybrid isolation etc and many more okay the structure of vibration isolation also okay these are the some components we are going to use okay that is a rubber bearing pad spring elastomers okay these are the component we are going to use the 
uh, as a isolation in mechanical component okay so how does uh, the vibration isolation work so this is very important okay so vibration isolation is the process of isolating an object such as a piece of equipment from the source of the machine produces vibration component okay so passive vibration isolate make the use of material and mechanical linkages that absorb and damp mm. these mechanical waves okay so even if you take the machine component which is fixed on the ground level okay here where uh, we are going to use some rubber points so rubber as a elastomer that is a isolator which are going to fix on the particular machine component the vibration occurs from the machine component the rubber will absorb okay then it will avoid the maximum uh, vibration okay so that is what how it will work the isolation okay so what is the difference between the vibration isolation and vibra vibration observer okay so uh, here vibration observer is different isolation isolator is different okay a vibra a vibration isolator is a device okay that can keep the vibration apart between the two surfaces that are in contact with each other okay whereas the vibration observer is a device that can absorb the vibration and make it intensity is lesser okay so this is about the vibration isolator is a component which are going to fix but vibration observer it will absorb and eliminate the vibration okay in mechanical component okay so that is the main difference between the vibration isolator and the vibration observer okay so here the same i told you the vibration observer is nothing but what so in um, take the mechanical rotating part either pump com compressor ic engine okay so in order to take the rotating machines that is a vibration is caused by a imbalance of a rotating masses that is unbalanced uh, okay that is a cg in the axis of the shaft is does not coincide with the same place okay the imbalance causes unnecessary harmonic excitation or the vibration that is the forces which reduce the life of the machine if the excitation are left untamed it will be lead to the failure okay if you neglect that if vibration there is the chance of failing a vibration okay so a technique where it is tuned as spring our secondary mass as a system is attached to the rotating machines to eliminate the vibration and forces in as a in ab uh, vibration absorption okay a spring damper system is uh, uh, called as a vibration absorber okay so look at here diagram so it is a spring mass damper system okay here the vibrating force it will be going to act downward direction okay that is the unbalanced primary forces if you apply force here there is a chance of producing a vibration okay so here vibration absorber is nothing but we are going to use some damper or some stiffness we are going to reduce the uh that is vibration which is present in the mechanical component okay so that is about the vibration observer okay so here the next uh, word is transmissibility okay so transmissibility is nothing but what it is a measure of effectiveness of the vibration isolating the material okay so this is also very important so again here there are two types of transmissibility force transmissibility and the motion transmissibility okay so force transmissibility nothing but what the force it is defined as the ratio of force transmitted f of t to the force applied on the system okay uh, the ratio is also known as isolating factor or it is denoted by the uh, uh, epsilon e okay this is about the force transmissibility that is the uh, the ratio of force transmitted to the uh, uh, transmitted to the particular system to be applied to the uh, external force that is the impressed force okay ft by f not here the definition says that it is the ratio of force transmitted to the foundation whole divided by that is the to the force force applied on the particular system is called as force transmissibility okay ft is equal to f not you remember this okay so again it is denoted by epsilon not e is equal to ft by f not i we already we know that ft is equal to what square root of 1 by 2 cr omega whole square so where r is equal to what omega by omega n okay so square root of uh, divided by square root of 1 minus r square to the whole square plus 2 e r e nothing but eccentricity okay phase angle is phi minus alpha is equal to tan inverse of 2 e g uh zeta one hold over one minus r square okay so minus tan inverse of two zeta r okay so motion transmissibility is also similar the motion is the transmission takes place or it is defined as the ratio of the absolute amplitude of the masses ft to the base support that is the excitation amplitude that is y okay so it is also called as the maximum amplitude transmissibility and it is defined as e naught okay that is e so this is the equation for motion transmissibility okay epsilon naught a is equal to maximum amplitude is equal to maximum amplitude divided by relative motion that is a excitation amplitude y okay uh, which is given by square root of 1 divided by 2 cr uh, whole square whole divided by square root of 1 minus r square whole square plus 2 e r whole square okay so here phase angle also so here the alpha phase angle here the alpha is lagging or leading sometime okay so here in the case leading okay phase angle is equal to phi minus alpha is equal to tan inverse of 2 e r whole divided by 1 minus r square minus tan inverse of 2 zeta r okay that is 2 epsilon r so here uh, one more term is there magnification factor and this is also very important 
so magnification factor or dynamic factor is nothing but what it is the ratio of the maximum displacement of a forced vibration that is x of maximum to the static deflection x naught okay due to the static force okay it is denoted by m of f okay so m of f is equal to what maximum uh, dis, uh, uh, what is displacement to the static deflection okay so here magnification magnification factor is equal to x of maximum divided by x naught okay so here the formula we know that so 1 by whole divided by square root of 1 minus r square whole square plus 2e r whole square okay so harmonic again same it is clear that the magnification factor depends upon the two that is the circular frequency and the damping factor okay zeta and the omega okay so here the absolute motion so already we know that already we solved uh, already we uh, told in the previous uh, class also so absolute motion that is the force vibration due to the excitation of support there are two support one is absolute uh, amplitude one more is relative amplitude okay so the amplitude of the force vibration is given by x of maximum is equal to square root that is what y is equal to square root of yes or k square plus the omega whole square whole divided by square root of one square root of uh, yes or k minus m square omega square whole square plus c omega okay so here to substitute you are going to get this equation where y is the maximum amplitude okay so phase angle is equal to what phi is equal to tan inverse of 2 zeta r whole divided by 1 minus r square okay where r is equal to what omega by omega n okay so again the relative amplitude is equal to what in, the, in many cases it is useful to know the response of the system that is relative to the motion that is the moving component the steady state uh, relative amplitude of the forced vibration is given by z of y is equal to this so r square uh, uh, whole divided by square root of 1 minus r square whole square plus 2 zeta r whole square okay so where z is the relative amplitude and along with that phase angle is equal to what tan inverse of 2 e r whole divided by 1 minus r square okay so this is about the i i think already told this definition i think this is repeated okay so you have to remember uh, from this uh, from four definition vibration isolations are very very important okay what do you mean by vibration isolation so these are the devices which are used to reduce the amp vibration which is there present in the machine as well as in the found founder level okay that is foundation or base okay support okay so uh, rubber cork pad spring elastomer elastic these are the called as vibration isolations okay so i hope you understand this uh, okay uh, thank you